Ambassador Claudio Ansorena, Ambassador Giovanni René Castillo, Ambassador Guillermo Rubio Funes, Dr. Vinay Sastrabuddhi, Ambassador Dinesh Patnaik, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste. A very good evening to all of you. It's a great privilege to, and pleasure to join you all on this very special occasion when five countries celebrate the National Day and three of them, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Costa Rica, are jointly marking it uh, in New Delhi today at this ceremony. Many of you know that I have a practice uh, every morning of uh, tweeting my National Day greetings to my counterpart foreign ministers. Uh, and today was a very unusual day because I did five tweets, which is a great way of starting a day. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was really wonderful, I think, and for a lot of us very educative to hear why five countries uh, together uh, celebrate the National Day. And uh, in that account, I think many of us from India uh, saw the similarities, the bonding uh, that we have uh, with the countries of the region. Uh, so I extend my very warm greetings to our friends from the Central American countries as they celebrate this momentous occasion. Uh, and I should uh, also uh, say that in many ways my presence here today is a message that uh, for India all relationships are important, uh, that we deal with the world on the basis of sovereign equality, uh, and uh, that uh, in many ways my being with you here today uh, I hope would be a step in perhaps uh, visiting your countries uh, at some point in my present capacity. I should add, by the way, that I have been to the region, but not in an official capacity. I once took a wonderful holiday there, which uh, still is a very, very memorable one. Now, you also know that India is commemorating 75 years of independence under the theme Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsap. Uh, and uh, so when I look at your anniversary, your 200th anniversary, I can only imagine the pride and the sentiments which all of you would have and which uh, today my presence gives me an opportunity to share with you. Now, uh, it, is, it is in many ways uh, only appropriate uh, that a representative of India uh, joins uh, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and El Salvador uh, on this occasion, because we do share values of democracy, of rule of law, we are open societies. Uh, and uh, in our history as modern countries, modern societies, we've always had very warm and cordial ties. We have a growing commerce, we have a emerging development partnership, uh, and as Ambassador, you noted, uh, we certainly have uh, uh, a strong cultural uh, engagement. In July this year, my uh, ministerial colleague, uh, Mr. Murli Dharan, uh, visited Guatemala and he personally uh, conveyed the greetings of our leadership to that of Guatemala. Uh, similarly, Secretary East, uh, Ambassador Reva Ganguly Das, is currently actually in the region are holding foreign office consultations with Costa Rica and El Salvador, during which again, uh, I would expect her to deliver personally our greetings and good wishes. Now, in terms of our relationship, uh, I think we have a strong uh, business partnership. Uh, and uh, I know that Indian automobiles, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, pickup trucks, they've all been uh, the uh, basis for uh, affordable and reliable mobility in the Central American region. Uh, and uh, in many ways, I'm told that uh, they are the primary mode of transport, especially in the villages. Uh, and again, uh, one uh, domain where I know our uh, cooperation has been active uh, has been in pharmaceuticals. 
Uh, in the last year and a half, uh, during the COVID period, I've had occasion to talk to my counterparts uh, uh, in your countries uh, and discuss uh, both the requirements for uh, medicines and uh, vaccines, uh, but also a larger cooperation which would be to our mutual benefit in the field of pharmaceuticals. Uh, I'm also happy to note that our ITEC scholarships have made an impact uh, in, in our partner countries. Uh, and uh, uh, one example which uh, was brought to my attention was really uh, of, uh, of women from the indigenous communities of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras who actually underwent training in the Barefoot College uh, of India. And uh, they were trained as solar engineers and entrepreneurs, and they've gone back uh, home, uh, hoping that uh, we hope certainly to uh, take uh, brightness back to the villages in the form of uh, solar power. Uh, our development partnership is also reflected in IT centers, which we have set up in Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. Uh, so uh, I think a good beginning has been made. Uh, uh, as I said, it's been a very, very cordial, a very warm relationship. Uh, but I do recognize that the challenge of uh, scaling it up, of making it much more substantive, uh, lies before us. And I would like to assure you, ambassadors and uh, your colleagues who are present here today, that we in the Ministry of External Affairs are very uh, serious about it. Uh, and uh, I hope you will take uh, my presence here as one indication of a willingness to translate that seriousness into something more concrete. Now, regarding our cultural engagement, uh, again, it is something which is active, which is, spans multiple generations. Uh, there is a, a history of uh, interest in our heritage, uh, in our traditions. Indian history, philosophy, and Sanskrit are taught in the University of Costa Rica. Yoga and Ayurveda, I believe, have become very popular. Uh, and today, there are numerous yoga studios uh, who, who uh, continue to uh, encourage that practice, uh, especially during the uh, pandemic time. Uh, we also welcome Costa Rica's presidential decree, uh, which declared uh, uh, all activities and initiatives related to the promotion of yoga and meditation to be in public interest. Uh, Indian culture, cuisine, dance, music are obviously very uh, popular, very well appreciated. Uh, and I am really uh, so happy today that your celebration takes the form uh, of a collaborative uh, uh, musical event uh, with the uh, support of the ICCR. So uh, let me say this, that we remain very committed to strengthening our bilateral ties, uh, to expanding our economic and commercial cooperation. Uh, we would certainly like to see more activities in in IT, in science and technology, in pharmaceuticals, uh, in automobiles, but we are also your partners in human resources training uh, and development. Uh, and uh, certainly, uh, I would look forward to a time when uh, we can have a meeting with the SICA countries uh, as a group. So once again, uh, let me, uh, ambassadors, uh, on behalf of the government of India, uh, convey our heartiest congratulations our best wishes to all of you uh, as you celebrate this historical milestone. Uh, and uh, I look forward to joining you, uh, even though I must uh, share with you that my time is not my own. So I will have to leave at some point of this program, but uh, it's really a great pleasure to be with you today. Thank you.